my gorgeous sparkies. Good rumptious, delicious Scoopio. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This is going to be for you and your person, my baby. Whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Or did you see the cards? Did you see the cards? Aggressive, aggressive, sun, warmth, love, amazingness, recognition. This is not just about the douche flu you're dealing with, douche flu test, anyone in between, you know, whoever your person is. This is about you. You're about to be recognized for something. You're about to come into your own, come into your success, my baby. Yes, Knight of Cups, water sign energy. This is also your energy here, Scorpio, in this card. And beneath it, the High Priestess, all these cards flew out of the deck. You will be recognized uh, for something in the near future, my baby. Even if even if it feels like you're not, you know, getting anywhere with something, there's something that you dream of, something that you would, you know, like to have in your life. That thing is coming. All right, let's see. Please show me in calls what is happening for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. But also this person. Mm, see, oh, boo, boo. I was, I cannot, I wish my camera, like, I just wish I had a bit better camera so I could do, like, you know, different, I wish I had, like, an Instagram boyfriend, basically, who, who could do, like, all these things, but only for the Instagram. Because, like, I was just literally saying, like, you know, the, probably your person sees you as the sun or like they see, you know, they see the warmth, they feel your warmth, whatever. And I just, and this card came out and that just is on, on the table in the position of how they see you. Like no jokes, like your person sees you as the sun. This is a great triumph for you, Scorpio. For some reason, that's what I'm getting. This is a great triumph because it was a, a very difficult situation. Uh, we always assume some kind of a rift or separation in the U versus them readings. But I think in this one, it is like de a definite separation. There is distance between the two of you. There's distance. There is abandonment here. Someone's abandonment issues were activated. I'm sorry, there's my hair. <laughs> that's disgusting. Okay, I am disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't care. I'm trashy. Uh, okay, five of pentacles. So yeah, so, somebody felt abandoned. There was an abandonment here. And there's distance. There's actual distance. You know, it could have been a long distance relationship or it's just there's distance now. Two of wands. But this person is looking towards you. They're looking back at you. I feel like this person moved away somewhere or they traveled. Uh, these energies can switch if you're a cross watcher, boop, boop. But you know what I mean. Like there is like someone's trying to breach the distance right back at you, boop, boop. Because you are the sun around which their universe revolves, baby. Mm. <laughs> Gorgeous. It is a triumph, Scorpio. I think at the time you felt very much betrayed and abandoned by your person. But now just knowing this is, you know, what they're going through might be a little win here because I think this person did a power struggle on you. I think they tried to get you to worship them like they were the sun, you know. Ah, boo -boo. And they're not. And now they're admitting it. Ah, Scorpio. It's like, why Why do people power struggle the Scorpion? It's pointless. Uh, also, my darling, if you're new to the channel, uh, before we get into your person's despairing situation, uh, if you're new, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot and welcome to heaven. And also, if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, my darling. Give mommy a kiss because mm, I am your mommy. I'm your Scorpio mommy. I'm Scorpio Sun and Rising. I got loads of Scorpio placements. I'm probably a Scorpio as a guest. So, boo -boo. yeah, your person's in a pickle. I think what happened here is this person tried to power struggle you. See, this is coming up over and over again. You could be dealing with a Leo or with someone who likes to be in the spotlight. This person wants to be the main character. They forgot to read the memo where it says the Scorpion is always the main character. So there was an issue here and the Empress. Uh, so, you know, very deep major kind of energy. I think this person saw you as an emperor or an empress. They knew your value. They could tell, they could see, but they were like, I'll prove to myself that no empress or emperor tells me what to do. I'll prove to myself that I'm more worthy than the Scorpion. And they kind of like, you know, instead of worshiping the Empress, uh, instead of worshiping the Goddess, they aggressed the Goddess. They were like, no, Goddess, you don't tell me what to do. They disrespected the Goddess, but Bill. Because when you disrespect love, when you run away from love, when you hurt the person you love, you are disrespecting the Goddess. And you will feel, feel you know, at some point, the, con the consequence of, of this will be felt. Uh, the Page of Pentacles, really bad communication here. Someone could have um, even broken up by text or, or try to be like weird with you over messaging, DMs or something like that. And Scorpion did not take it very well. But it was like, you know, a very immature, very mature energy. It doesn't have to be, you know, remember it's a general reading on the internet. I'm just a random woman on the internet. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. But 
I do feel like there's something to do with communication. Either there there was bad communication, if it was a bimbo himbo, anyone between you went on a Tuesday, especially in a new situation, the communication in the early stages was like very suspicious, very weird, on and off and immature. Or very this person took a long time between messages, maybe coming in and out, something like that, and it was very suspicious to you. And there is like, this is definitely over. Something is definitely over here. It's almost like this person accused you of trying to chain them or something, Scorpio. Like this person was like, well, you know, I recognize that you're so scrumptious and wonderful, but then they did like a, a 180 at one point. And they were like, well, yeah, but I don't want this commitment or something like that. It's very strange energy. Uh, maybe you're wondering why it is because this person was in competition with you and they saw your light was dimming theirs and they didn't like it. But they would never tell that to your face. You could be dealing with another fixed signs, any one of the fixed signs as well, Scorpio. Um, Aquarius, uh, Leo, and Taurus. Uh, but, I mean, the sun is unmistakable. This person, I mean, they have, like, <sighs> they can't argue with it. They know that you're, you're the sun. If it was a more established connection with, between the two of you, like a marriage or something, you know, something more um, more concrete, even dating for a few months, um, it was the same situation. It was a power struggle. It was like, on the one hand, you know, this person recognized you as the God as God, anyone in between that you are. Uh, and they made like, it's almost like they made promises. You know, they were like, we'll get, let's get married. Or I'm going to get you a ring. Or you're going to get me a ring. Or I want you to marry me, you know, or we'll, we'll move in. It's like, it's like, it's like this ring. Somebody never bought this ring. Page, page of Pentacles. Somebody never bought the ring. Somebody held back emotionally. It was just all these promises jumping through hoops, but it never really happened. And in the end, it came down to a power struggle. Some some kind of an immaturity came out of this person. It's the kind of person who wants a relationship and then all of a sudden says, no, I don't want, I want commitment. I want to be free in, in this lifetime, <laughs> you know? And a lot of it was because uh, life with you, Scorpio, was very hard, okay? Don't come for me. I know we have a lot of haters, but uh, let me explain. The reason why life with the Scorpio is really hard is because we're human lie detectors. It's not hard because we're bitchy or because we're like not nice or because we're whatever, right? Uh, but it's because we're human lie detectors. So it's really difficult to live with a Scorpio if you're a liar, basically, you know? Uh, I'm just saying the Bill Crosswatcher, not coming for you. I don't know why I'm so like harsh today, but it is true. A lot of people say that, oh, Scorpios are so difficult. Like, the relationship with Scorpio was so bad. Like, yeah, really? Why was it so difficult for you, Bibam? What was so difficult about it? Because we, we know stuff. So, yeah, so this is why, you know, this is why this person was very much uh, problematic in this relationship with you that, uh, in ways that they weren't with previous or other relationships is because you really triggered them. You triggered their insecurities. They think that they're not good enough. They think whatever they think about themselves. Um, Scrippy just look, looks at you and, you know, this person knew that you knew, that they knew that you knew. Uh, but it wasn't like lies that they were hiding. It was more lies about themselves, lies about their insecurities that were coming through. And you just knew, you saw through them and this person didn't like it. They want to be the top dog. They want to, you know, run the show. And they weren't running this. You can't, you can't run a show with scorpions. Like, who does that? You can't. You can't have, like, a scorpion act at the circus. Like, there's no scorpion farm. You're going to show people. You know, like, it's not going to happen. Anyway, Two of Pentacles. Why would it be a scorpion farm? Okay, anyway, you know what I mean. Like, Scorpio, Scorpio troop or something. Two of Pentacles. This person wants to um, bet on the situation again, but they're really not sure yet. And their intention is like, well, should I or shouldn't I? Uh, and it's about a distance here too. So that's coming up quite prominent in this reading. This is someone who's at a distance. They don't know if they should come, come, come to get you basically. Um, but they're going to stick it out. You know, this is a slow moving energy. Four of Pentacles, they're still not letting you go. I don't see them uh, coming through for a while though. It could be this person. See, this is this power struggle with this person. Very frustrating. And maybe they're not going to reach out this month. And maybe they're, go they're going to take a little bit longer. But eventually they will because justice will have to be done. There is a karmic, almost like a karmic situation here that needs to be uh, um, ex explained and that needs to be closed and they do know they need to do right by you. So an apology will come to you, Scorpio, from this person, but it might take another uh, four weeks to four months before this person is ready to do it. They're, they're not ready to go let go of their defensiveness yet, Bibu. But remember, this is a general reading, so it could be four days, four hours, four weeks, but I see more like four weeks, four months, and they will do, do right by you in the end. What you want to do with this person later, up to you, Bibu. You know, 
how you, how you want to handle the situation, totally up to you. But, you know, this person will be returning with an apology and trying, attempting to make things right between the two of you. So this is what I have for you today, my darling Scorpio. Um, but, Bill, remember, like, I don't need to tell you this. You're a Scorpio mommy, you know. But, Bill, this is the Scorpion, Scorpion HQ. You take care of yourself, you know. You make sure, because Scorpio loves so deep, you know, you make sure that if you want to forgive this person, they're really doing everything right. And if they can't do it, just delete from database and move on, my, my boo-boo. Nothing wrong with moving on. And maybe, you know, this person is so slow, by the time they reach out, uh, you'll be gone, you know. Up to you, my baby. Uh, but this is what I have for you, my darling. Uh, also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and of course, like the video, because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all of the information is down below. I'll see you next time, my baby Scorpio. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm -hmm. One more, baby.